Here we are looking at the stomach biopsy of 87 year old male. Here we see the gastric mucosa with uh, foveoli and foveolar glands. And here we see the mucinous glands which are classically localized in the antrum or pylorus of the stomach. And here we can see that foveoli are slightly abnormal. Um, here we can identify uh, the abnormal um, irregular lumina on the foveoli with corkscrew shaped. And uh, also here we see reactive changes of the epithelial cells. Uh, so, <clears throat> these changes are typical in reactive gastropathy or chemical gastropathy. Um, also, if we have a look at the lamina propria, we can see that uh, it should be packed with uh, antral glands. However, here we see that there are no glands, so we are looking at the atrophy. Um, <clears throat> here and there, well, we can see dispersed cells that shouldn't really be here and those are uh, goblet cells and um, this means that we are either looking at intestinal metaplasia or we are looking at the, the portion of the stomach um, somewhere from from the pylorus and duodenal portion and this could easily be uh, transformation from the um, or transition between the pylorus and duodenum and here we can identify some something which looks like villi and because I already know the diagnosis uh, I can suspect that we are um, we are somewhere in the pylorus so in this area goblet cells are normal and we cannot diagnose intestinal metaplasia if you want to make sure that these are really goblet cells we can use a special stain alcyon blue uh, combined with PAS and if we see the blue stain in these cells we can say that those are goblet cells. Uh, however, <clears throat> the most important thing in this biopsy are these slightly dilated capillaries filled with fibrin thrombi. We can see them here and also here and which is also not normal are these dilated capillaries which are slightly hyperemic. Um, this is a classical hallmark of gastric antral vascular ectasia uh, which is diagnosis which should be correlated with an endoscopic appearance of the stomach mucosa. And uh, <clears throat> uh, typically uh, the clinicians um, during endoscopy can identify these red stripes converging from the pylorus uh, from, from, from the antrum of the stomach into the pylorus and um, this is also called watermelon stomach and here is better picture uh, which uh, more characteristic lesion we are looking at the mucosa of the stomach and in the lamina propria we see dilated capillary with fibrin uh, thrombus. Sometimes uh, these th fibrin thrombi are associated with myofibroblastic proliferation around these capillaries. So gastric antral vascular ectasia. Uh, clinically um, it affects usually older patients and it could be associated with chronic bleeding. So it's important to um, to have this diagnosis in mind and uh, if we want to make sure that we are looking at the fibrin, we can use a special stain. So that's all about gastric antral vascular ectasia, and thanks for watching.